Hi everyone, it's Amy, and as you can see, uh, you're having a different angle right now because I decided I want to be different today, and instead of up front, you're seeing the side view. I decided I wanted to make something that was fast, quick and easy, three steps, three ingredients, whatever you want to call it, and um, I found a recipe which is called three minute fudge. I've never had fudge before. I don't know what it tastes like. I don't know if I'm going to like it. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. Um, instructions, butter a square pan and line with parchment paper for easy removal of set fudge. Set aside, okay. It's real tiny, it's not square, but it's, it's tiny. I don't think it's gonna be that big. Let's line, line this, wow. Let's line this. I think that's good enough. So there you go, there it is. And I need to butter it. Don't feel like getting out butter, so I have spray. Okay, I'm literally just some SPF canola oil. Anyways, my hands. In a microwave safe two quart bowl, don't know what that is, um, heat chocolate chips and sweetened condensed milk. I have this, and it says sweetened condensed milk. I usually see them in little like cans and you go, but uh, this is in a can, so I hope it's okay. And, and uh, I have chocolate chips that are already open. So this is gonna be a, a little mess, and that's okay because nothing here is ever goes dry. We need two cups of semi-sweet chocolate chips. These are milk chocolate, but I don't think it, it matters. Let's put the condensed milk to see how much this is, and then we can figure out the, the rest, okay? Okay. This is not gonna be a third, and it had to be a, a can. I'm gonna put this in here. Okay. I'm gonna put this in here. And I'm gonna squeeze the rest of that and then just eyeball it. I'm not making a lot. I'm just making it for me. So I don't think I need that much. This looks about clean. It has to be less than two cups. Heat chocolate chips and sweet condensed milk on high for two minutes. How do I do it on high? Just reading so I don't miss any steps like adding vanilla because I know that we have to add vanilla because it says three ingredients, one, two, and three. So I don't know how how to do it in high. One minute. Okay, um, now we wait. I hope it doesn't burn because if it does, I'll be kind of sad. But again, expectations are really low. Like, my standards for my cooking slash baking were up here, and now they're really, like, below zero. Like, they're negative numbers right now. It's probably negative infinity right now. I gave up on myself. So, oh, it's bubbling. It's bubbling. Oh, no, this isn't turning out. I don't think this is supposed to happen. I don't know how, what is this? Okay, anyways, let's throw in vanilla. Let's plate it. Look, this isn't fudge looking. I don't have the time. I'm sorry this video is really short. It had three ingredients. Three. Chocolate, condensed milk, and vanilla. And I messed it up on step one. I just had it put in the microwave. Let it do its thing. And I messed it up. I burnt it. I had 12 seconds left. 12. Anyways, let's try this. I'm I'm disappointed. It got hard already. Bad. B A D. Bad. You know what? I'm gonna take it out of the freezer. Let's cut a piece of fudge, shall we? Okay. Look at that. Look at how beautiful it cuts. It's sugared milk with chocolate chips and it still ends up tasting bad. How? How? I don't know, but I can do that, okay? I am so bad that I can ruin an easy three-step recipe. Disappointment, disappointment. This whole video, a disappointment. So, anyways, I hope you liked this video because I certainly did not enjoy it, but if you did, please give it a like or subscribe. I'm not forcing you to do anything, but look at me. But I would very much, truly appreciate it if you did. And, and I hope you have a nice day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye!